My favorite project is the one I'm doing now. We've done about 30 to 55 projects since 2007, uh, but we never satisfied. So what I'm doing this year is I'm kind of summarizing everything I learned about analyzing Instagram. In the last uh, four years, we look at 60 million images uh, from 17 global cities. And it turns out that most of these images are kind of snapshots. You know, it's more about content, right? Food, you know, happy moments together, being with friends. It's not really about aesthetics, it's not really about refinement. And one question everybody wonders about is globalization makes the world you know, more interesting, more varied, more diverse, or more of the same, right? As Starbucks, design hotels, you know, Samsung phones, um, you know, spread everywhere. These people can imitate each other because we can see our people like them on Instagram and Facebook and so on. So that actually what motivates me is to understand the world's kind of social or cultural variability, to see what's happening with it. The way, for example, biologists can study variability of species. And I'm very you know, kind of motivated by the fact that contemporary biology doesn't reduce the world to five or ten species. You know, we said, well, there's maybe hundred million species. So a very simple question I'm working on. It's so simple that nobody published about it. What are all the different types of images on Instagram worldwide? How many of them? Are, are there more or less than last year? Is it 35 types? 350 types? 95 types? So basically, what do people share? Because even though people share 2 billion images a day, in reality, it may turn out we only share 121 different image types. And that's very interesting because I think of the retail business have to think about it because that's, that's actually what young people represent. That's actually what we like to do. So we have to go beyond retail in terms of buying products. We have to go beyond experience economy, buying experiences. You know, what people seem to want, people who create these millions of beautiful refined images, it's about feeling, it's about mood, it's about particular emotional state of being in a particular place in time with somebody or alone.